Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I want to show you how to put video into Logic and also how you can sync it to timecode and why timecode is important. Let's dive in. So in Logic Air, it's two ways to import videos to Logic. We can press this, this global tracks button right here or we can press G on the keyboard to open it. And if the video track is not here, you can right click in any of these fields and you'll get this dialogue right here. And we press movie. This is our movie track. And if you press this text movie right here, we can open movie. Um, so we can go ahead and do that. We navigate to where we have the film clip and here we have it and open. And we want to make sure that open the movie and extract the audio track both are checked. So we go ahead and here we also get uh, this message about frame rate. And it says that the movie is 24 and the project is 25. So we want to make sure that the project is using the same as the movie frame rate. So we press use 24. All right, and now we can see the movie is successfully imported into Logic. And so that's the, that's the easy way to do it. Another way to import a film would be to go to File right here, Movie and Open Movie. And then it's the same process right here. And you can see the same results. Um, so now that we have the film in Logic, we want to make sure we have this big display right here. The display by default might look something like this. Um, so if you press this arrow down, go to custom first and you should get some more information in the display. And you can customize this by going to the arrow again and customize control bar and display. And here under LCD, you can select what you want to show in this area. Okay, what we want to be able to show is this time code right here. So now that we have the film inside of Logic, let's go ahead and synchronize it. So we can see in this film file that we already have a time code burning into the video. So this numbers right here is hours, minutes, seconds and frames of the video file. So for each frame, there will be a unique number in this video. And this is an easy way to synchronize the film between different devices, or let's say we synchronize this in Logic, and then you send it to Pro Tools or you send it to the editor. And it's an easy reference point to make sure all the audio files get in the right place. Um, so to do this in Logic, we open the project settings. So we go here, project settings and synchronization. And here we can actually set the time code. So we can say bar one place at time code. And then we select the time code right here. Um, so what you want to do before any of this is to note the time code in the beginning of the audio file. Uh, so we can use Logic's notepad right there. You can see I'm already showing some uh, shortcuts and things I want to remember. Um, so we can type it that in here 01314503 press done so this is our time code um, if we go back to this project settings window we head over to this tab called movie and here we want to say what position the movie is in so we want to say that the movie starts on and then we press this time code 01314503 and once this is punched in you can see the movie just completely disappeared from logic um, so we need to head over to synchronization again and here we can set the bar one position and then we set it as a time code right here uh, so let's do the same 01314503 and now the the film is back and also the audio is back and what makes this very powerful is that you can see now that 01323916 is also the same in my logic session. So let's say I want to start my music 
on a specific time in this film. So let's say I want to start at 31 minutes and 56 seconds. And so I can go ahead and I can type in, let's say I want bar five to be here. And then I can say one thirty-one fifty-six, And now my bar five will be exactly this time code. And this even, this is great because even if I change the tempo of logic, if I go ahead and change the tempo to 80 BPM, my bar five or whatever bar you set here will still be the same. So you can have the same start position in logic. So it's an easy way of finding your start points in logic. And also if you're working on a big, like a feature film or even a short film, and you have separate projects for each queue, this is an easy way to just import the whole film and then you can jump around in the film without having to move out to bar let's say 200 or 500 or whatever you can just have one film file and move it around in logic based on the time code so another thing which makes this really powerful is when you finish your music and you want to send this off to the sound designer sound mixing or the editor it's a very easy way to synchronize your music and making sure that it ends up in the right place. Um, so when you have the time code in logic, match the time code of the film, uh, you can you can export something from logic and the, the web file will already have a time code burn in so that there's a additional information in this file telling Pro Tools or Premiere or whatever software they're using where this sound file should go and you can also use this time code reference as a reference point when you're exporting your files so let's say we export our uh, wave file right here and then in our file name we put in the time code as well so we put the time code from the bar one or the bar we're exporting at the end of the of the sound file and that's a good reference point as well when you're sending files off to someone else to work on because then they will absolutely know exactly where in the film you compose the music um, so that's another benefit of uh, of doing this way um, yeah so that's uh, that's it for this tutorial on uh, time code and syncing video in logic uh, i hope it's helpful and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i'll try to answer as best as i can and uh, stay tuned for more videos. See you soon.